To write the name for FeBr3, we first need to realize that we have a metal and then nonmetals. So with the metal there and the nonmetals, this is going to be treated as an ionic compound. So because of that, we're going to worry about the charge of each of these elements here. So we write the name of the cation, the metal here, as it appears on the periodic table. So that's just Fe, that's iron. Next, we'll write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. We are as bromine, lowercase b, and we'll replace the ending with IDE. Bromine, if we look on the periodic table, that's right here, group 17, called the halogens. It has a 1 minus ionic charge. So what we'll do is we'll say 1 minus for the bromine, each one of the bromines. Since we have 3, the only way we're going to get this balance to have a net charge of 0, iron will be 3 plus. So we write between the iron and the bromine, the Roman numeral 3 in parentheses. And this is the name for FeBr3. There are some other names you might hear. This is the official name for FeBr3. An older name is ferric bromide. And because there's quite a bit of covalent character in the bond between the iron and these bromine atoms, those bonds with that covalent character there, sometimes you might hear this called iron tribromide. But the official name for FeBr3 is iron 3 bromide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.